Joe Mundy is the uh, Pelham High School music teacher and band director of the last, is it four years now? This is my fourth year, Joe. yeah. I just talked to Dr. Moore up front, the principal of the school. She had some really nice things to say about what you've done with yeah. the kids. Yeah. Uh, I mean, did, did, when you got here, I understand it wasn't such a, the program was kind of in disarray? Yeah, there wasn't much going on. You know, they've been through a string of teachers over... Yeah. 10 years or so that had things had kind of dissipated down to almost nothing. Um, so I came in, I had a lot of energy and, and uh, I guess it was a good fit and it's grown a lot since then. So you set a higher standard for the kids? I mean, what does that entail? You have to, you have to do your practicing? And yeah, oh yeah, and I explained to them, especially like with band, you know, um, we can only do our work as a group when everyone's done their work individually. So. Sure. Yeah, they're expected to get that all done, and then we do the, the group work at school. How is it? How important is it to have a band at a football game, let's say? I think it's huge, hugely important to have that. It just adds a lot to the environment. I can think back to being in high school um, and how I love that Friday night football environment. Um, and I just think it adds a lot to the whole feel of the game. I know that the football coach is behind us. He was a student here um, yeah. back in the bad years, I guess. And so having the band is just huge for him. Yeah. A lot of community members recognize the fact that we're there. We've even had away team parents say things about the band. So I think it just... That's nice. It does yeah. a lot for it. Joe Mundy, the Pelham High School band director, do you wear Michigan State colors to school every day? Not every day. Not every day? Uh, you got me on the day. They just won against Iowa. Oh, so. Beautiful. On, uh, so over the weekend. Yes. Uh, I do that. Uh, Red Sox win you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Michigan State's my alma mater. So I'm yeah. very And you brought that. that Big Ten band feel here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of what I knew. So yeah. I brought it. Brought all that I knew here. Right, yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot for talking. Yeah, Keep absolutely. it up. Keep up the good work. No problem. Samantha Liardo, who is in the Pelham High School band, and uh, one of my favorite instruments, the uh, xylophone, right? Barumba, but yeah. Barumba, thank Barumba. you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think of, uh, your, he's right behind us, so he's probably going to be late. <laughs> what do you think of Joe Mundy as a music teacher and a band director? Oh, he's awesome. He's yeah. done so many wonderful things with the band. Yeah. Um, it, when you came to school, were you thinking you definitely wanted to be in the band, or is it something? Yeah, because yeah. my first year was his first year, so I heard before that that the band wasn't really the best it could be. But then my freshman year, we had 14 people, mm -hmm. and before that, before I came, there was only five people. So as soon, as soon as he came, there was 14 people, and ever since then, it's grown. The next year it was 28, then 35, and now there's 45 people in the band. That says a lot. Right? Next semester, I believe there's 50 people in the band. Okay, yeah, there's power in the numbers right there. Yeah. Pelham High School band members are coming outside of their band room for a five minute break. Ordered by their band director, Joe Mundy, at my request to take this uh, front page photo for the Lowell Sun, and then we thank them all for this. Although, uh, Taylor Bastian, for one, said he didn't mind the five minute break and a sunny day. And there is a little bit of traffic here behind Pelham High School.